the policy options let's go into config mode first so this is BGP lettuce export OSPF this is taking from the first thing we do let's let's modify that so we want to do edit policy options policy options export OSPF we want to do a new term set term term 3 from instance bacon dash tomato We want a route filter. The first two. So let's go back and look at those routes again. We only want ten dot twenty dot one dot zero and dot two dot zero. configuration is good but we forgot one thing and that's the other part of the term which is accept and tag it with two so now if we go down to our core we should see those new routes show up as soon as the commit finishes not yet there they are 10.20.1.0 and 10.20.2.0 so we are now redistributing those routes into our OSPF from our BGP neighbors now the next thing to do is to go take a look at our firewall one more time and now we've got to send routes to them so in order to do that we have to create a export BGP statement for bacon tomato set policy export BGP bacon tomato term term one from instance master protocol OSPF and route filter let's take a look at we only want to send him 26 through 29 right So I'm 28, 29. And let's send them 240 and 245. Just to round things out. Let's go back to top. Set. routing instances bacon instance routing options import export BGP bacon tomato and we also want to go to protocols BGP peer BL I'm going to go to group, the BLT group, bacon tomato group that we made, 
export policy, export BGP bacon. So now, once that's committing, let's go take a look at bacon tomato. And let's do show route. And you should see that they're getting 26, 27, 28, 29, 240, and 245. That is all they are getting. So the job is done. This is how you configure. This is where the SRX makes a big difference because you are able to have secure zones. You know that if for instance let's go down a little bit you know that if lettuce sends you routes that you don't like they're only going to be stuck in the lettuce routing table they're not going to go into the main routing table and you see I also tagged them as one you know that if bacon tomato sends you routes that you don't like that could potentially be dangerous that they are not going to be introduced into your routing table by mistake they're going to be stuck in that little table. So this allows you some form of protection. Now, you have your standard security policies where you can permit and deny traffic. So now you've collapsed, you've gotten rid of your firewall, and you've collapsed your firewall down, your firewall and your router down to one device which has excellent routing capabilities and is also an amazing firewall. So this should make it easier for you to manage your devices uh, and, and, also to, um, and also to save you money and make it now you can also put in ranges. I did one range in the beginning I also did specifics. So if you knew your partner was going to export you networks 10.20.1 15.1 through 20, but they're only using 1 and 2 right now. You can put that entire range in the BGP statement. It'll auto import those into your domain, into your routing table as they add routes on their side at a later date. So you don't have to keep going back and touching it. If I do a show route here, you'll see that our routes from our two, two from lettuce are, are two from bacon tomato with a tag of two, three from lettuce with a tag of one are in our routing table, and our routing table is nice and clean. So this is a good thing. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, please post to the uh to the website or send me an email at uh john at exiletv.com. And uh, I hope you enjoyed it.